Hey there, it's Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. Love yourself from Survive to Thrive, that lady on the internet who loves you. Today, wanting to talk to you about your emotional needs. Do you pay attention to your emotional needs? Do you validate that you have emotional needs? Do you see that you have emotional needs? We're living in a time when people are both becoming more aware of having emotional needs, as well as people kind of slamming that because people go to extremes and they're gonna just think about what they feel all day long and it's just not, it's just not helpful. So I wanna to talk to you about those emotional needs. Do you validate that you have them? In my book, Emerging with Wings, I had an epiphany and I wrote about it because I realized that having needs is not evidence of weakness. Being raised by authoritarian parents, stoic parents, grandchildren of immigrants, people who worked hard, suck it up and keep going on, you know, there's a lot of good in that. But there's also, for someone like me who is emotionally sensitive, that was harmful to me. I didn't think that having emotional needs was acceptable. I didn't think that having needs outside of, you know, what I ate, what I, you know, drinking water and having a place to live, just basic survival things, I didn't think other things could qualify as a need. Those were wants and those fell underneath selfishness for me. So if, have you ever struggled with any of those thought processes? I can help you if you have. If you think that's crazy, then maybe you wanna stop listening now because I'm just a weirdo like that. But I grew up feeling like having needs was bad. But when a baby's born, a baby needs to be fed. A baby needs to be changed. A baby needs to be kept warm. A baby needs to be hugged. People have needs, we have needs, and we need love. And we need to validate our emotions. We need to listen to them. As I've spoken about many times before, they are messengers. They're trying to tell us something. That doesn't mean give them the driver's seat and just take over and you never use your brain again. No, we need to use our brain and our emotions and our brain need to work together. And then we have the spirit part of us that we need to engage also in a, podcast interview I did recently with a gentleman who is in the service, he talked about being in combat situations and dismissing that part of their humanity. Soldiers have done that, but they recognize that that's damaging. There is a spiritual aspect to every human being. Whether you want to recognize it or not, it's there. And Turning himself into a machine to kill people for war, that doesn't work in the long run. There's fallout from that. That creates trouble on the inside because we're not just a body of bones. We're not just a brain. We're not just emotion. We are also a spirit being. We need all of that. And so if you struggle to validate that you have needs, if you have struggled to validate you have emotional needs, I want to encourage you Get a copy of my book, Emerging with Wings, and that will help you to validate that you have the right to have needs. You have the needs for many things that fall outside of just water and food and shelter. You, God's created you to be an amazing person, and you can't fulfill your, what I call your God-given greatness if you deny that one aspect of your life. So I wanna encourage you, get a copy of my book, Emerging with Wings. If you've already read it, then get a copy of my Emotional Life Journal. I give that away at my website under free resources. I also have a free resource about feelings. If you struggle to, well, I know I feel, but I don't know what to call it. I have a free resource for that. I have lots of free resources because I wanna help you live your best life because that's why God gave you life, because he loves you. And so until next time, I love you.